Hey everybody, Chris Richter, eHouse Offers, here to talk to you today about the five top mistakes that for sale by owners tend to make. Uh, this may or may not be you. So, um, the first one is saving money by selling for sale by owner. Um, I'm going to put up front that maybe you will. Um, most people do not. Most people sell their homes for 10 to 15% less than a listed property that's equivalent. Um, the reason for that uh, is, is purely marketing. Um, if you're going to put something on the MLS and it's marketed well by an agent, um, they're probably going to get you more money. Um, a lot of people don't like dealing with for sale by owners because they know they're dealing with the owner and they know they're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to spend the money, so they're not going to be as negotiable. Um, they tend to be hard to work with, right? Um, and maybe that's not you. Uh, the second is no inspection. Um, if you're going to sell your property by yourself, uh, it's a really good idea to get an inspection. That way, when somebody comes to look at the property, you can tell them up front what's wrong with it and really save yourself a long negotiation. Um, if you know that the roof leaks and you know there's plumbing's bad and the electrical's bad, it's much easier to say, all this stuff's bad and the price reflects that uh, than it is to come back and try and negotiate it. So. Uh, the third is being hard to contact. Uh, it's shocking how many people put their phone numbers and emails in their listings uh, when they do themselves and then don't return the calls or don't email back. So uh, that's a pretty easy one to remedy. Uh, the fourth is negotiating with emotion. Um, it's very hard for someone who's selling their own home that they've lived in for 20 years and have a lot of memories in and have uh, done a lot of work in and maybe raised a family in to not be emotionally attached to the home. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's darn near impossible. Some folks can do it. Um, but typically, you know, if, if you're negotiating price um, based on what you feel that it's worth, um, it, it gets really messy and it, it just doesn't work out well. Um, looking at for sale versus sold, um, you know, if you're gonna run comps on your property and you wanna find out what your property's worth, um, there are some great tools for that. Um, you know, Yahoo Real Estate has a great tool that does that. Zillow has a great tool that does that. Um, or you can always just call a broker. Um, but if you just wanted to do it on your own, um, there's some great tools out there. It's critical that you look at what's actually been sold versus what is for sale. Um, I'm sure that most people know this, but um, um, many, many times I've talked to a seller that told me, um, that this house sold for you know three hundred thousand dollars or four hundred thousand dollars when that was really the listing price and the sold price was maybe you know ninety percent of that so when I come in um, as somebody that's an investor or somebody comes in as a qualified cash home buyer uh, to make an offer and you start telling them that the house across the street for sold for three hundred and they know that it sold for two eighty um, it puts you in a bad spot so. Um, those are very easy numbers to find out, and it pays to do the homework. So um, I hope that that was helpful. There's more info on the site. Please feel free to browse about, and have a good day. Get started now and receive an offer on your home today.